Okay, we're out of boys and girls. This is chapter five called The Way. This is this is all oh, dog. Oh, recognize it. There's another name for the dog, but you'll figure it right out as we go. This is chapter five, the way. Remember the last time we were reading look found out he owes five hundred dollars to the tax collector to the government. He's gonna figure out the way to pay for the way. The next day, Llewellyn got the situation head on, or at least he wanted to, because he wasn't sure what to do. For a reason, he said $500. Grandfather had always said, where there's a will, there's a way. Little Willie had the will. Now he had his final for all the stupid things. Craig Fox spent his tax be a lesson for you, Willie. Tato's barely bringing enough money to live on, explained the Willie. We went broke. Doesn't matter it's got to be paid. Whether you like it or not, and believe me, I don't know if you but who likes it. And why did we have them in the first place? It's the way this street gets this money. Why don't they grow potatoes like grandmother? Doc's they have more important things to do than grow potatoes, she explained. Like what? Taking care of us? Grandfather said we should take care of ourselves. But not all people take care of themselves, like the sick, like your grandfather. I can take care of him. He took care of me when my mother died. Now I'm taking care of him. But what if something should happen to you? Oh, oh, well, he this. Walked over to the sled where Searchlight was waiting with high boots sinking into the soft snow with each step. Little Willie brushed the snow off Searchlight. Then he asked, Owing all this money is the reason Grandfather got sick. I believe it is, Willie, she agreed. I pay the taxes. Grandfather will be better, won't he? Then he rubbed the wrinkles below her eyes. Better do what I told you before. Get this peacock to take care of your grandfather and. But he will. He'll be better at money. Yes, I'm sure he would, my child. Where are you going to get $500? I don't know, but I will. You'll see. That afternoon, little Willie stepped into the bank wearing his blue suit and his. His hair was so slicked down, it looked like. He asked to see Mr. Foster, the president. Mr. Foster was a big man with a big cigar stuck right in the center of his big mouth. When he talked, the cigar bobbed up and down. The little Willie wondered why the ash didn't fall off the end of it. Little Willie showed Mr. Foster the paper from Grandfather's strong box. told him everything clicked right the tax man had said. Sell, Mr. Foster recommended after the papers. The cigar bobbled up and down, sell the farm, and pay the taxes. If you don't, they can take the farm away from you. They have the right. I'll be at 11 next year. I'll grow more potatoes than anybody's ever seen. You'll see. You need your dollars, Willie. Do you know how much that is? Anyway, there isn't enough time, of course, the bank is loaning you the money. How could you pay it back? Then what about next year? No, I say sell. You end up with nothing. Our ass fell on to the death. I have fifty dollars in my savings account. I'm sorry, Willie, Mr. Foster says he wiped the ash off onto the floor. Little Willie walked out with his hands on it. I greeted him by placing too much plastic. Little Willie smiled and grabbed Searchlight around the neck and squeezed her as hard as he could. We'll do it, girl. You and me. Anyway. The next day, Little Willie talked to everybody he think talked to the teacher, Williams, he talked with Lester at the general store, he even talked with the who swept up over at the post office. They all agreed to sell the farm. It was the only answer. 
There was only one person left. If only he could. If he saw, what would they ask? Palm up, mitt yes, palm down, mitt no. Grandfather's hand lay motionless on the bed. Search like Grandfather's fingers twitched. It was all. Things looked hopeless. And then the little boy found the way. He was at Lester no store when it happened. When he saw the poster, every February, the National Duck Sled Races were held in Jackson, Wyoming. People came from all over to enter the race. And some of the finest dog teams in the country were represented. It was an open race. Any number of dogs could be entered, even one. It's for 10 miles of because starting and ending at me, right in front of the old. There was a cash price. The amount varied from year to year this year. It just went to $500. Less than a deep pipe in the end, which is handed to the Willie the Poster. Picked up another at the mayor's office. Any but strong. Wore a white apron. It talked with live on his lips. Could be a good one this year. They say the mountain lion, the mountain man, the Indian called Stone Fox by him. Never lost a race. A wonder with five Samoyeds. But little Willie wasn't listening as he ran out of the store clutching the poster in his hand. Thank you, Lester. Thank you. Grandfather's eyes were fixed on the thing. Little Willie had to stand on his toes in order to position the poster. He took me out of Grandfather's face. I'll win. Little Willie said, You'll see. I'll never take this farm away. Search it. Marked. Put one paw on the bed. Grandfather closed his eyes, squeezed out of a tear, rolled down and filled up his ear. Little Willie gave, gave Grandfather a big hug and searched like barked again.